Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to Sephora in my mall and I wanted to do my hair and makeup on camera to kind of show you guys what I do, um, what I'm getting ready and how I get ready pretty quickly. Um, getting ready for me usually takes me about 30 minutes. So we're going to see how we do in this video, but I part my hair like this. Um, I've always parted it like that, and then I just separate it in the back. And I have my hair in two sections. Um, so I curl my hair. Hair's a little bit still, a little wet, but it should curl. Okay. Um, well, if you guys have seen my other video, um, I talked about my curling rod, so I'm not going to talk about it in detail right now because I'm trying to hurry. It's already 4 o'clock. I have to be at work at 8. And I also have to film this video. I'm trying to get the... so plugging that in okay and if I breathe really heavily in my videos I'm sorry I've played back some videos I'm like I sound like Darth Vader <laughs> but it's just the way I breathe in my videos because I am usually out of breath in my videos um but I honestly am not trying to do it to like irritate you guys or anything it's just part of my breathing and everything like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and section out my hair um just kind of help this process speed along so i'm just sectioning it out it's a little bit damp so parts of my hair i probably won't be able to curl as good as i'd like to but i want to go to sephora oops sorry <laughs> I want to go to Sephora and I want to look at some of their new products. I also have a coupon they sent me for 20% off of all their sale items. So I'm super excited to see if I can get anything on sale and then see if I get 20% off. So we'll see. And then tomorrow, if I get anything at Sephora tonight, I'll do like a little short of what I got. But I will upload a video doing a haul tomorrow of what I got at Sephora. Just to kind of show you guys, show you guys what I got. I don't think I'm doing like a, a bunch of makeup right now. I don't really want to do like crap. I don't really want to do like a full face. Of makeup um, I want to do just like a little bit of makeup but not like a whole bunch of makeup we'll see but I want to be leaving my house I want to be there by five so I probably like leaving my house by five it's four o'clock now um, today I got some organizers for my kitchen they're, the box is in my living room right now, but I got some organizers for my kitchen, which I could unbox those and put those up. It's just wire racks. I know I talked about it in a previous video too, where I was going to take down in my apartment video, take down that bookshelf in my kitchen and put up wire racks just because um, that bookshelf is falling apart and it's probably going to break down soon I just ate some food it did not sit well in my stomach so I'm like regretting eating it those are my curls for today they're very just minimal they're not really giving me what I want to do Sometimes my hair doesn't curl that well, especially if it's a little bit damp. But we'll try the best. And then this is just this side. I try to bunch up my hair, my uh, curls, like bunch it up, bunch up my hair. That way I keep each side separate. But sometimes it's hard. I usually get ready in about 30 minutes, so we're at four minutes, four minutes now, so I'm gonna 
speed up this process. I don't like speeding up videos, like doing fast motion. I wanna do real time so you guys can see like the real process of me curling my hair. So you guys can see like, if you did it at home, how long would it take you? You can see the smoke. <laughs> oh, I forgot to use heat protectant. Yeah, these curls are not coming out how I would want them to come out. See, this is like just take typical daily life of what I deal with every day. I haven't got my hair done since the wedding. My sister's wedding was in October, so it's been about three months since I had my hair done. Actually, October to November, November to December, so it's only been about two months, but it's starting to get a little brassy. I don't like getting my balayage touched up, though, because every time I do, the people that do my balayage, I don't know if it's just me, if I just feel like this, they always add more blonde to my head. I don't like adding more blonde because I always it always turns out brassy. I just wish they could just touch up the blonde I already have. Keep the same amount of brown because I don't like adding extra blonde just because I'm a brunette and I always will be a brunette. And I like keeping natural like tones in my hair just because I don't feel like I'll be a good blonde. I, I did dye my hair blonde one time and it turned out really bad. So this, this curling is not coming out how I want it to. This curling is not coming out good. I'm gonna try to keep the the hair around 15 minutes and then keep the makeup around 15 minutes and try to kill two birds with one stone. I don't like going into like makeup stores and stuff, not wearing at least a little bit of makeup. I mean, you wanna look like you know, without well, hair, not good. You wanna make it look like you know what you're kind of doing in there. Like, I feel like the Sephora people think that they know every single thing about makeup. And yeah, they do know, you know, some stuff about some of the products. But I, I just feel like I know just as much and I don't work there. Um, but if you go there and you're just like, I don't know what to buy. You know, I think they can pick up on that as well. I just like to look like I know what I'm doing when I go into Sephora. That way I don't have people following me. I don't know. I'm one of those shoppers that I like to look by myself and shop by myself. I don't like to like have, like I like some sometimes when people help me, like inside Sephora if I'm looking for a specific product and I don't know where it's at, like in a certain section. But like if I'm just looking at eyeshadows, I don't want you people coming up to me like, can I help you with something? You know, like. To me, that just makes me feel like they're rushing me in the store. And that makes me, like, want to shop faster and get out of there faster. So, comment down below if you've ever been shopping and, like, just felt like they're rushing you. Or they think you're shoplifting. I hate when that happens. When someone's you feel like someone's following you around the store. I actually, one time, was so I was so annoyed. I was inside Sephora. And I had this lady helping me and I was asking her a bunch of questions and I wanted her to show me a bunch of different products because I was going to spend like quite a bit of money there and no joke halfway through our conversation inside Sephora she's like oh I have to go help someone else now we've been talking for too long like I'm not lying she literally looked at me and said I've been helping you for too long I have to go help someone else and I was buying like $800 worth of stuff and she literally looked at me and said, if you have any questions, you, you'll have to ask someone else. I was like, what the heck? Like, and when she said that, I was so mad. I almost didn't buy 
like what I came in there for, but just because of her comment and like how she, how, what she said to me. And I was like, that's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if Sephora like times their employees, like how long they can help one specific like customer. But if, if that's ever happened to you, let me know because that's ridiculous where uh, you'll be a Sephora employee will be helping you and then be like, sorry, I can't help you anymore. Like, what if you were, what if you were old lady? Like, what if you needed help? Like, I just I hate companies that are based on like, they want every single person to be talked to and like, yeah, I want everyone to get help. But if you're in the middle of finding me, like she was in the middle of finding me a foundation shade and she's like, sorry, I have helped you for too long. Um, I'll have to get you the concealer shades later. Like, and she never came back to me. I never, I, I didn't buy the concealer either. So it's like they lost out on money that I was actually going to be buying because they helped someone else. And I want everyone to get help in Sephora. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if someone's, if there's a Sephora person helping you, I feel like they should finish out helping you. Like if you still need help. Like when I worked at Ulta, we weren't limited to how much we could help someone. If they needed our help, we helped them until they were done. Like until they were satisfied. Um... It was just one of those things like I just feel like Sephora you have people coming into like Sephora and Ulta and they just think that they they know know everything about makeup when I worked at Ulta I, I did help a lot of people though but I feel like Sephora is more posh they want to be more posh have more of like a little oomph to their name I don't know Pretty, pretty, pretty. So 12 minutes for the hair. Okay, I want bad bouncy curls. Usually just fluff the back of my hair too. And I'll just curl like one or two curls like this. <sighs> All right, so that's the curl. That's the curl, curled hair. So I'm gonna unplug this. Sorry, I look like crap right now. Okay, so that's unplugged. So I'm gonna put that over there so I don't burn myself with it. Okay. And then for foundation, I wanted to use new products today to kind of showcase new products that I haven't tried or maybe I have tried. Maybe you've tried. Um, so new products today. Let me just get this out of the way. In the way. Um, new products that maybe you've tried or you've had your friend try or something like that um, that are really good to try. So the first thing I want to use, this is the Plump Right Back NYX um, Primer. And this is new. I've never used it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's like a jelly primer. Remember we said we have 30 minutes, so we have 17 minutes to put makeup on. So I gotta hurry. And this is just like a jelly primer. But I always have so many products in my in my makeup drawer that I don't use, so I want to try this out. So this is a jelly primer. Perfect. It went on very smooth. It's not like a silicone. It's more of like a gel. It's a little sticky. We'll see. Okay. And then this is an oldie but a goodie. This is my favorite foundation. Um, I haven't been using it in a while, but I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to go in with my... Shantakai, this is my um, Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation. And just because this is a good shade for me right now and I want to use it. Ooh, maybe it's not. 
but I want something that doesn't look like makeup. I want it to look like foundation, like skin. So I want to use this because this literally looks like skin when you blend it out. So I'm taking my beauty blender. I'm just going to start by blending it out. It blends out to match me, but like going on, it doesn't look like it's going to match me. But when I blend it out, it looks good. I'm trying not to mess up my eyebrows because I just painted my eyebrows on, just filled them in. So it goes on very smooth. It's a little bit more of an orangey tone that I'm used to. Um, it's not what I thought. Um, my hair turned out really good though, but it's not the skin tone I would have normally picked for foundation, but we will correct it with some powder. But like I said, it looks like skin. I just took a little bit more suntan. Okay, um, for powder, we're gonna use a little bit of a darker powder as well because I'm wearing a darker foundation. So this is going to be Light Plus in the MAC Mineralize um, powders for today and I'm just going to kind of go over my forehead with this powder And then we're going to use a new highlight blush type condo, maybe even a new bronzer. So I'm going to open up my big drawer of products. And then I immediately grabbed these two products. I don't know why I just did. So this is a Juvia's Place. Nefertiti Loose Highlighter. And this is a bronze highlighter. Looks like that. You will see. And then this is a MAC Out for Fun Casual Lip and Cheek Color. I've never, I don't think I've used this. This is very orangey. But we will see. I'm going to use the foundation brush for this. I'm first going to apply this to my lips and see what it looks like. It's pretty. And then we're gonna lightly put this on the cheeks. Just two little dabs. And I'm gonna blend it out with my powder puff. This turned out actually really, really pretty. I think I really like this blush and cheek combo. Just make sure I'm getting my forehead. Okay, perfect. And then time for the highlighter. So I like picking out random things out of my drawer and just going with it and seeing like 
what's was it gonna turn out to be like so i'm gonna use the lid the highlighter that's in the lid because there's a lot in the lid and i'm just gonna kind of apply this so now you can see that but that is beautiful put a little bit on my brow bone a little on this side like that and then i'm actually going to use this as an eyeshadow because i don't want to put on too much eyeshadow with this look so i'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this and put it in the pan and i'm going to use this as a eyeshadow And yeah, products can do go can duplicate as other things. Um, especially if you're in the makeup industry, you can use any product for multiple things. It doesn't have to be just for highlight. So I got that on the eyelids. I think that turned out very, very beautiful. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I love the way this, this look turned out. Um, it's very simple, very beautiful, very light and airy. Um, I don't have too much makeup on. I'm also going to put some mascara on. Um, there's a little flush of color on the lips. My hair turned out really pretty. And I think this turned out very, very good. So I can go look at Sephora. <sighs> this is so nice. Okay. And then... So for um, bronzer, we didn't put a bronzer on. I'm just going to use the same bronzer that I've been using, which is the e.l.f. one. Just because I don't really have a lot of bronzer. Maybe that's what I'll pick up at Sephora. I'll pick up a bronzer. I'm just going to kind of bronze my face. Just because I want a little bit of bronze on my face. Down my neck. Just want a little bit of brown on my skin because... My skin is sometimes light. Okay, moving on. I feel good. Like I don't feel like I have too much makeup on. And then we're just going to put a little bit of mascara on. Um, so the mascara that I've been really using every single day is the um, Boss Mood Mas or Big Mood Mascara from Elf, and I've been using this pretty consistently every day. Um, it gets my lashes really really good and it's like six dollars um so i've been using this every day and like it just really gets every lash and it's six dollars i really really recommend this mascara just because it looks so pretty on All right, so this is my facial look. I think this is more of like a natural look. I think this turned out really, really pretty and just really like just flowy and just really, 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 really pretty. Um, definitely um, let me know if you want um, me to link the products down below. Some of the products you probably won't be able to purchase because they're older products, but a lot of the products you can purchase. Um, sorry, I'm putting more mascara on. Um, I don't know about the lip, lip and cheek tint, but I do know that the highlighter you can probably pick up and the mascara, as well as the foundation is also available on Shantikai's website. So just let me know what you guys think. And I think this turned out super, super pretty. I got the hair done and it's only 24 minutes. So this is how I get ready really fast. And this is how I really do my hair and makeup because I forgot I put oil in my hair. But this is how I get ready pretty quickly, especially when I'm on the go and I'm ready to get ready for work and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys on my next video. And stay tuned. I'm going to be having a giveaway pretty soon. Once I hit 500 subscribers, you're going to have that giveaway. And it's going to be amazing. So keep subscribing and keep liking. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.